Meet the Hadzab people of Tanzania. Welcome to Saman's Discoveries. Thank you for being a part of our channel. Thank you for watching our video. Remember to join our membership by pressing the join button on our channel. Today we present Tanzania's indigenous people, the Hadzab. Learn more as we talk about this unique tribe. The Hadzab are said to be among the last authentic hunter-gatherer tribes left in Africa. There are about 1,300 tribe people left in northern Tanzania. Because of their hunter-gatherer lifestyle and nomadic way of life, the Hadzab do not own animals and prefer to live entirely off the land, carrying everything they own on their backs as they go. They eat largely plant-based foods, although they augment their diet with foraged honey and meat hunted with bow and arrows. Their language, Hadzab, is made up of clicking noises similar to those used by the sand bushmen of southern Africa, as well as popping and other familiar sounds. Several attempts have been made to introduce the Hadzab to Christianity and agricultural practices. However, efforts have proved ineffective since the Hadzab choose to maintain their traditional way of life. According to oral history, the Hadzab have resided in the Serengeti region for thousands of years. They were driven out slightly by invading Maasai, and now encroaching farming and tourism practices threaten their territory once again. The Hadza live a true hunter-gatherer lifestyle, with no crops, animals, or permanent homes, relying only on their skills to hunt or gather their sustenance. According to genetic tests, this tribe may represent one of the earliest roots of the human family tree, dating back more than 100,000 years. One of the most fascinating aspects of this tribe is their language, the Hadzain, which consists of unusual tongue clicks and pops. Linguists claim that Hadzain is an isolated language that is not very similar to any extant spoken speech. Around 30 years ago, the Hadza commonly hunted huge animals such as a zebra, giraffe, and buffalo. Most large mammals have reduced in quantity, forcing them to rely on smaller creatures like local antelope and birds. Finding food is a daily effort for the Hadza, and labor is divided based on gender. Meat is the Hadza's favorite food, accounting for only around 25% of their overall caloric consumption. Hadza will tell you what makes them happy is, meat, honey, and water. They claim that as they have all those things to eat, then they will be always happy. There is no doubt that meat plays an important role in the Hadza lifestyle and dietary habits. Thanks for watching until the end. Please support us by subscribing. Come back again.